Welcome to the Blurred DMA Setup Guide. In this video, I'm going to show you the different parts of the DMA. I'm going to show you how to install it into your PC and set it up. And I'm also going to show you how to install Blurred. Timestamps will be at the bottom of the video. All right, let's get started. Some of you may have your DMA come in a package like this. Just go ahead and take it out of the package. Some of you will also not have this bracket here on the side. Just take the bracket and turn the DMA to the side and then align the bracket with the ports on the DMA and then screw in the tops and the bottoms. So looking at the side of the DMA, we're gonna notice three things. One, a kill switch. Some of you may or may not have this. A data port, which is what you would use to game. And then a JTAG port which is what you will use to flash your firmware. Not all DMAs are gonna look the same, but they're all gonna have the same functionality. This will always be the data port. This will always be the update port. This is another DMA, for example, exact same thing. Data, kill switch, JTAG. The order of this over here doesn't matter, but the data will always be here. JTAG will always be here. Now, installing it into the PC. You're gonna align this gap with the notch in the PCIe lane. It doesn't matter if you have a long one or if you have one of the short PCIe lanes, the DMA goes in there perfectly fine, no matter what. What you're gonna do is align the little notch with the gap in the DMA and then just press down. And then it'll be in there snug. It's not going anywhere. It's not coming out, good to go. This is just a mock motherboard. I'm gonna go ahead and install it into my real PC and then I'll be back. All right, so I went ahead and installed the DMA into my main PC. You're gonna notice that the letters will be upside down. This is perfectly okay. The ports are still in the right order. Now, check for the power button. Some of yours may be out, so just go ahead and press it in. And then if you don't have a button, if you have something like this where it's a switch, just go ahead and Flick it to the side and you'll be good to go. Then turn your PC on. My PC is not plugged in right now, but you get the point. Take the USB-C cable and plug it into the data port of the DMA, which is the right side one. And then take the other end of the cable and plug it into your second computer. Make sure you plug it into a USB 3.0 port, which is going to be red or blue. If you don't have a red or blue port, you're going to suffer major speed losses. So make sure you have or get a second PC with one. Welcome back. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the DMA setup portion of the video. So to start, we're gonna go to device manager and we're gonna look for this right here, FTDI SuperSpeed FIFO bridge. If you have this device, just right click on it and press uninstall and then uninstall again. Then open your browser and go to blurred.gg slash FTD3. I'll also put links in the description. Next, you're gonna press on download and let it appear up here. And then run the file, press yes. And then you'll notice it'll say one and one. If it says that, you did it correctly. If it says one and zero, then you already have this installed. Go ahead and press close. And then remove the DMA cable from your second PC and plug it back in. Now we're gonna head over to device manager and under universal serial bus controller, we're gonna see this device, FTDI F601 USB. You can go ahead and close device manager and then click on the speed test link in the description, download the tool and find it up here and then press on the little folder icon. Now go ahead and right click on this and press extract all. If this box is checked, just go ahead and uncheck it and then press extract. 
Then double click on this, double click on this folder and find the loan DMA test folder. Go ahead and open this and then find this test right here. Go ahead and open that. More info, run anyways, and then press one. What this is, is it's a speed test to see that your DMA is functioning properly. And we also get to look at your speeds and then your throughput, which would be right here. And then your speeds are right here. If this works and everything is good or acceptable, then you can go ahead and go to the next part where we set a blur. If you get the error that says VMM init fail, then go back to device manager and make sure you see this here. If you see it here and you still get the error, then go ahead and cold boot your main PC and then try it again. Okay, now that we got the DMAs working, we can go ahead and set a blurred. But there's a couple things that we're gonna need before we do that. So go ahead and open up your browser and type in WinRAR. If you already have this, then you can skip the step. Press on download and then download again. Save it. And then just go ahead and run it. Press on yes, next, next, accept, and next. And then let it download. And then finish. And then you can go ahead and close these. After that, we're going to go and type in sordom. And then right here, D control V2.1. Just go ahead and click on that. And then scroll down. And you'll find this button right here. Click on that one. Close the pop-ups. And then it'll either automatically install or take you to another page like this. And you can press download anyways. Save. If Chrome blocks it, just go ahead and click on this. And then uh, the file password is sordom. And then download suspicious file. After that, go ahead and press on the little folder icon. Right click. And then extract with WinRAR to here. And once again, the password is sordom. then you'll get the pop-up. All right, so go ahead and open the file and then you'll see this app right here. Just double click on it, press yes, and then press disable Windows Defender. I already have mine off, but you just gotta go ahead and press that. After that, we can go ahead and get started on the actual blurred setup. So the first thing you're gonna need is a key. Go to blurred.gg Click on products at the top, select the game that you want. In this case, we'll just use Fortnite. Pick the length that you want and then press purchase. Type whatever your email is. Select your method of payment and then press continue. After this, you'll get an invoice, which you just need to press on complete order and then you'll have your checkout information and then you can go ahead and complete this. After that, you'll get a key in your email. All right, so after we have our key purchased, we're gonna go to blurred.gg slash guides slash setup. We're gonna go ahead and click on this first link where it says here, save, and then run the program. I already have mine installed, but just go ahead and let yours install. And then come back and press on web view two, save, and then run it. If you get this pop-up, that means you already have it installed. So you can go ahead and press close. Next, we're gonna go and type blurred.gg slash loader next we're going to press on download and then wait for it to download at the top 
if Chrome blocks it, then just just click on it and press uh, allow download. But go ahead and click on the folder, close that, and then right click on your desktop, hover over new, and click on folder. And then we're gonna name this blurred. All right, go ahead and drag the download of blurred into the folder. And then we're gonna click on here, click on blurred, more info and run anyways. So you're gonna get this pop up. From earlier, whenever I showed you to get your key, you're just gonna come press register and then grab the key and paste it into here. For this, I have these keys. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that one in there. Next, we're gonna put a, uh, a username. So I'll just do media blurred vid and the password. Okay. Now we're gonna press register. After that, we're gonna have our game. If you have multiple keys, then press on redeem key again, and then go ahead and enter your new license key here. And then you'll notice you have another key right there. Now, all you have to do is press load and you'll be fully good to go.